Okay, so this recording is to help those of you who are working on budgeting in Excel. This is a, an assignment for digital literacy. Um, so I pulled up the uh, assignment here in Canvas for you to see conveniently. We're going to read through this together and then we're going to go over and open up Excel and show you how to set this up. Uh, you need to come up with a budget spreadsheet to track spending on clothing items for one year duration of time. That means you start today in November and you're going to do a deposit for every single month through next November. Okay? You get an initial deposit of $100 and then you need to use that to buy an entire outfit. So, outfit is defined as you need a shirt, you need pants or shorts, you need socks and shoes, and if you'd like, you can get one kind of accessory to go along with the outfit a hat if you want or like gloves or um girls like to get like a purse or something to go with their outfit whatever um hundred dollars you gotta figure out how to do all of that then each month you get an additional 50 bucks if you have a bigger expense so you want to get like higher quality clothes you're like 50 bucks buys me nothing twining then you're gonna have to kind of save your money if you will but you are required to make at least one purchase every single month. So maybe um, one month you buy a, um, a package of socks, like three pairs of socks, and it's like 10 bucks. And then you have $40 that you can use for something else in the future. Um, you also should try to be um, getting items that kind of go with the season in which you're buying them. So if it's summertime, then you might, Want to get a swimsuit. If it's winter time, you might want to get a winter coat or like some ski pants or something like that. Um, so, or I hear, I even mentioned on here, scarves um, during the winter. For each purchase, you must include a link where you're going to get this item from. Because obviously right now, um, we're not going to the store. You're just going to have to look up this stuff online. Um, so, if you do end up buying it online, then you need to make sure that you include shipping um, for where you're getting it from. Um, if you plan on, you just get the price from the online, so say you're gonna buy from Old Navy and you're gonna actually go to the Old Navy store, you don't have to pay shipping, but you do have to figure out how much the tax is gonna be on that particular purchase. Uh, and then you're gonna be using formulas to calculate the balance of the spreadsheet and tax rates. The tax rate for Mill Creek, Utah is 6.875%. And I'll show you how to kind of figure that out. And then um, this formula right here is really what's really important. It is the total balance column. So you're going to have um, a date column, a description, the vendor where you're getting it from or the website, uh, a debit, a credit, and a balance. And I'm going to show you what this looks like um, as we get this spreadsheet set up. Okay, so that's kind of the description of the uh, of the project. So we're gonna jump on into Excel, get ourselves a new um, Excel document that looks like this. Okay, so we're gonna set up the first row is the descriptions of um, all of the different columns. So we're gonna start with the date and lowercase, and then we have the um, description of item. And then we're gonna have the vendor or the website. Then we have a, uh, it shows right here. Then you have the debit and then the credit and the balance. Okay, so we have debit, credit, balance. Now, on each line, you're not necessarily going to fill all the columns in. Because if you're spending money, are you getting money? Yes or no? No, you're only doing one thing. Either you're spending money or you're getting money. You're not doing both, okay? So first of all, we're going to resize these columns. You can do all of them at once by clicking on this little arrow and then just clicking in between any um, of the things and it resizes to the size that is the biggest kind of thing. Uh, problem here though is date. We want it to be a little bit bigger. Connor. Great question. So Conrad said, 
What if I go to Kohl's and then I get my Kohl's cash? If I spend my $50, I get $10 Kohl's cash. Or I go to Target and I spend $30 and they give me a $5 gift card. Where do I put that in my budget? Or do I put that in my budget? For the purposes of this activity, we're not doing those specials. All you're doing is the only money that you get is each month you get 50 bucks. With the initial deposit of this month being $100 that you're gonna start off with. So that's the first thing that we're gonna do. So we're gonna enter in 11-18-2020. Uh, and then description of the uh, item is uh, initial deposit. Okay, we get a credit of fifty of a hundred dollars. We get a balance of a hundred dollars. Now, before we move on, uh, these two columns or these three columns are all going to be currency. So we should set those up to be currency. So you can highlight the entire column by clicking on D, E, and F. And then you're gonna change instead of general, you're gonna come down to currency, okay? So that's gonna set up and all the way down on all of these, it'll always have the dollar sign and the um, two cents. Notice, of course, we don't have to put anything in debit because we're not taking anything away on this one. We are um, just gaining money. So now comes the time for us to do a little bit of formula magic. On each of these lines, we want a recurring balance to be able to show us at any given time what our balance is. So this here is where we're going to put that formula that I showed you in the description of the assignment. So we're going to have a sum that's going to add this number, so F2, and then we're going to take away D3, so minus D3, and then we're going to add E3. So that way, if I put money here, it's gonna add to it. If I put money here, it takes away from it, okay? So that is my magic formula that you're gonna use. And then you just copy this formula on down and so that way, any point in this spreadsheet, if I get $50 here, get another $50 here, you can see it's gonna add to that total amount, okay? And the formula, it looks the same, but it actually, when we copied it, it automatically changed all of those um, cell references to match that particular line, okay? So we have our initial deposit, so then sometime during November, so Black Friday sales uh, next week, which actually, um, what is that? It's not a week from today. No, a week from today is the day before Thanksgiving. So we're almost there. Okay, so we'll just say 11.25, right? So 11.25, oh, uh, we're gonna buy some shoes and where am I gonna get them from? I go to Target. Okay, perfect. Um, so, uh, and here's the thing on here, I want to have an actual link to where you're getting these from. So I don't want a target.com link. I want to target, I want to link to the shoes that you're going to actually happen to get. So we're going to go to target.com and I'm going to click on and check out the, uh, the shoe selection here. So you get to go shopping for these two days, actually. So if I go to, um, Categories, apparently lots of people are on Target right now. It's the, it's the Black Friday now deals. Come on, here we go. Uh, AirPods are not closed, so sorry. This is, uh, this is closed. Um, I want uh, dress shoes, I want some new shoes for work. Uh, no debt, sorry. Uh, and all of these look really ugly. Uh, I think I could maybe live with these, the old man slip-on shoes. Yes, I mean, you've seen like all grandpas, they don't have any laces on their shoes. They just slip them on because they're like, I want to bend over. Uh, I'm going to do, I'm size 10 and a half. 
Um, and so it's $36.99, right? Um, so on here, we're gonna take this particular link and I've got to copy this whole thing. So control C and then over in my Excel spreadsheet here, I can paste the whole link here or I can insert a hyperlink. So right here, it says link. I'm gonna put in that thing right there. And then what it does is it makes target a link. So then when I control click on this, hold on, it'll take me to that website, which I'm already there, so great deal. Um, but you get the idea. Okay, so you gotta put a link in so that I, as the teacher, can double check and verify, oh, you say you're buying shoes from Target for how much? Okay, so $36.99. Uh, is that all I need for my shoes? What else do I need, Alex? Uh, this, I'm spending money. When I spend money, No, 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 I'm not gonna, I, I don't get 50 for, for November. I get 100 for November. The next month I get 50, right? Okay, but what am I forgetting with my shoes? Shipping or tax, okay? So Target says if you spend, what, 50 bucks, you get free shipping? Uh, so I can do pick up here or I can do deliver it, same day, right? Free membership. So you would have to look into it and figure out, do I want to do shipping and have to spend $50 here, or do I want to just get tax and pick it up at the store? So I'm going to go the tax route just so I can show you guys. Um, so 11.25 tax on shoes, and then we're going to say this is from Target. And so this, I'm going to equals D3 times 0 0.0875. Wait, was it 875? 786, 875. Okay, 875. All right, 254. Let's verify uh, what this said. 6875. So there you go. So that's how I figure out tax. So it takes off my tax. Okay. What else do I have to get in November? Remember, I had to get a whole outfit. So I need shoes, socks, shirt, and pants. If I want to add an accessory, then I can, but I'm not getting superfluous electronics as my accessory. I'm sorry, but a Nintendo Switch or an iPhone or fancy smancy headphones do not count as a clothing accessory. Yes. Yes, so great, great question. So kind of I was like, well, what if I don't have enough money in November to get the accessory I'm interested in? Remember the rule is you have to make at least one purchase each month, but you can have money accumulate so that you can get something more expensive later. So if I wanna get a nice winter coat that's gonna cost like 200 bucks, then I'm gonna have to save some, um, some money from November, save some money from December, save some money from January, um, save some money from February and finally get the coat just before it starts getting warm in um, April, right? Um, so um, I'm gonna do all of my, my things. So November, I'm gonna, have, um, I'm gonna have my shirt, I'm gonna have my pants, I'm gonna have my socks, you know, I get whatever, do whatever. You can get them all at one location, you can get them from several different places. And then finally on the 1st of December, that's when I get my monthly, deposit and that's when i get 50 more bucks okay and then i've got to buy something in december so i'm going to get uh, my uh christmas stocking right that's a uh, that's clothing isn't it okay so then you know you have your christmas stocking or you get something uh, and then in january you're going to have another thing so the the main point here is um 
this exercise isn't necessarily a lot of Excel um, extensive with formulas. It's more about kind of budgeting and being able to compare prices and doing a little bit of calculations with your, um, with your tax or with your shipping um, or with things like that and just keeping track of it, making sure that you're not going in the negative. Okay. And you get to go shopping. So you get to spend the period, next this period and Monday, figuring out what are some clothes that you'd like to buy. Emma. Uh, no, not for this one. Sorry. Uh, so you can't try to take your own money and say, oh, I got like $200 in the bank right now. So can I include that? No, this is all imaginary money. And don't expect me to buy stuff for you. And don't go home and tell your parents that you're going to go spend all this money on clothes now. But this could be a good way that you could propose. Hey, mom, look what we did in class. Wouldn't this be a cool idea? The only time you have to buy a whole outfit is the first month in November. All of the other months, you don't have to buy a whole outfit, but you have to buy at least one thing. Lily. Uh, the only one that you have to put a specific day is the first of the month when you get the deposit. But if you want to just put December, just December, then you can do that. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is look at my formatting here. This one did the, um, the, the month, the date, and the year. And this one just did the day and the month. So that's another practice we can have. Oh, we did formatting on these. So let's fix the formatting on this one. So if I highlight here and then I go to home and I can change my date format. I don't want currency date. Um, you can click on more formats and it'll come up. And then you can select what kind of date format you like. I personally like the date with the, the two, two and the two. Um, but if you like the one, two and two, or you like the one with the dashes, or you like the whole long one, you can even put the time if you want, I don't care, but pick a, pick a format for your dates. Um, the cool thing I like about when you do this formatting is I can type in 12, three, and it fills in the zero and it fills in the 20 for me. The only problem is when I do this and I start going next year and I say one, five, it's gonna say one, five, 20, when this is actually gonna be one, five, 21. So you'll have to change that. But so after you're done with all this and you've got all 12 months worth of stuff um, and you have all your deposits and you spent your money, um, make sure you save it. Remember the overall um, objective here with your shopping isn't necessarily to have as much money at the end as you can. It's to get the clothes that you think you're going to need. Um, you don't get a prize for having lots of extra money. And if I were your parent and you didn't spend the money, then I'd just be like, well, you're not gonna spend it, I'll use it on something else. So um, don't try to be like, well, I got $200 in the bank still, so I get to keep 200. No, that's not really how this would work. But any other questions? Okay, those of you watching this, hope this was um, helpful and you can understand how to do it and you get the, how the formulas work out. Good luck.